friends in this video again I'm going to elaborate about the classes so here I create one more class with name home so this is name home and it has nothing in it just I remove all these variables and then you see I call it a class home it has nothing now I just introduce one static function to this public static void main and I pass one string variable string args this is array of strings into it now if you see then it has just one static function and static functions are those functions which can only be called with the name of the class dot the name of the function like this function's name is main so it can be called as home dot main so system dot out dot print ln i am in my class home now i compile it and see there is no error so minimize this right click on this and then call the main function because it has only main functions to be called and now here it is done so it is just showing now if I say that if I declare one more variable from here like int x then can it be accessed from outside like can I plus x now I try to compile so it is showing error and the what does error show non-static variable x cannot be referenced from a static context it means this is non-static variable and this is a static function so what are the static variables static variables are those variables which are defined inside the static function so I call in, uh, x equal to 10 so this is static variable is static variable because it is defined within the static functions body now I simply compiled no error now again if I uh, run this then you see you can say I'm in my class home 10 and 10 is printed now how it is different from a normal function normal class so I for the sake of understanding I create a class called square this is a geometrical figure square everyone knows this what is square so this is a square variable now I remove all this thing and then I say my square variable is going to have one integer x or I say s s for side and then I have a value uh, like I need to have some mechanism to initialize this variable so I'll call public void get data and I'll pass int value to it and that int value will be assigned to my class variable that is called instance variable so s equal to x now s is initialized now to check I just create one simple function public static void area then sorry this should not be static public void area and then here I'll print system dot 
out dot print ln area of square equal to plus x into s into s now check out so i have created this now i compile and now this is showing no error now i go into the main class and i create the object of that class here then i'll write square ss equal to new square so this is how we create the object of the type square name of the class name of the object ss it can be anything it can be sqr whatever you feel like then new and the name of the class again then with the help of this you can call the functions now here you see i'm i have compiled this it has no error now i go back into this and now you see this blue j ide environmental environment have already created the link it means that square is a class and it will be accessed from home so if you go there because inside the home function you have only a static function inside the home class we have only a static function now so i click here and call the main function then the main function is calling the static function object is created but nothing is happening because we have to create the object of this much now i have created the object with the help of this object you call the function get data and pass a value suppose i pass 20 now 20 is the side of the square that goes there and stay now uh, with the help of sqr dot area if i call the function so now you see in the main static function i am creating the object of the type square i am in with the help of i am calling the get data function with the help of sqr and passing value 20 to that because it has been defined like that only whenever you call this value you have to pass one integer there and then i call the area function now if i run and then now here i call the main function and now see the area is 400 and everything is going fine if again i click on this much and create one object directly and call it uh, sqr1 then now you see with the help of this object again you can call the get data and pass another value 12 so this object is different its name is square one and that object is created from the main its name is sqr so these two are different thing now with the help of this object if you call the value area then the area 361 will be printed so this is how it works again i'm just trying to make a short short video so i'm stopping here and in the next video again i'll take another example to explain the whole thing nicely thank you very much stay and watch my second video of the same series Thank you very much.